All right, everyone, I'm going to show you in this lesson how to bring samples back online or any audio that goes offline, how to, how to get that back in uh, linked in Ableton. So typically, this is why we want to do the uh, collect all and save, to make sure that the, these samples are sticking along with our project. However, sometimes you can have that can, uh, I don't know, you might have some issues occasionally. Most of the projects that I've opened up have worked out well so far. This one happens to be, uh, have some files that are not linked up. So when you get files that are not linked, you'll get down here on the bottom of your screen an orange bar telling you media files are missing. Click here to learn more. So if we double click that, then in our help window, we get the, a list of the, the files that are missing. However, we can't go in and link each one individually. What we need to do is we need to direct Ableton to a folder to search that folder. So um, I know this project is Gabby's. No, no, no fault of her own. Their samples are there. So we're going to go up to this area here, and we're going to say click search folder. So we're going to set the folder that we want to search. So we're going to set this folder and if I go to the looping projects then we've got Gabby's project here and she's got her samples folder and the imported folder. So it should be, it looks like it would be in that looping folder or imported folder. So we're going to click open that folder and then we're going to come up here automatic search and we're going to click go. Yeah, and as you can see four new candidates were found, four missing files were replaced automatically. So we'll click OK and then what we're, we're going to do immediately is press save. Uh, I can't say, I guess she was in a little bit newer of a project. Um, we can do a save as. Just two. And so now that we have that saved, then our file paths to those files are now saved. So we shouldn't get any more linking issues. So that's how you, the thing is, is you need to know where your files are in order to relink them. And if you have files that are spread out all over the place, you're gonna have to have uh, Ableton search in a lot of different folders. So this is why I always say, just do a collect all and save at the end of your sessions so that everything gets collected and saved into that imported folder. So at least if they come offline or some file path gets messed up or you change the location of where the project is saved, then you can easily relink them because they're all within that one folder. So that's how you relink in Ableton.